defense called an expert in false confessions who said that investigators used psychologically coercive techniques to get the then teenager to implicate himself in the crimes. Dr. Richard Leo says he reviewed statements Dassey made to investigators in February and March 2006. Clips were played in which Dr. Leo said he believed investigators supplied information to Dassey, which he then repeated to please them. Dr. Leo said this often happens unintentionally. Here's a little bit of today's testimony. Do you have an opinion as to whether the techniques that we've shown you here today used by the officers in the case on February 27th and on March 1st were psychologically coercive? Yes, it's my opinion that they were. And do you think that telling a teenager uh, like Brendan that he will be all right even if he implicates himself further in the crime is a tactic that increases the risk of an unreliable confession? Yes. Why? Because um, if somebody is being uh, repeatedly accused and pressured to say something, they keep saying no, 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 and then they are told that that's not the truth, um, and they're not being honest. And, and so truth and honesty become code words for what the interrogator wants to hear. And that's exactly what Brendan Dassey's attorneys say happened here. And tonight at 6, 